And now, for the moment of truth. Yes, it does work. What's going on is that the phone is being charged wirelessly. The mount is all 3D printed. There are no ugly cords sticking out on the top, on the bottom, in the middle, anywhere. The parts are 3D printed. It is a Decora plate. And then I added the mount to hold the phone in securely. In the back, there's a holder to hold the wireless coil so that it can charge. Let's look at the wireless charger. I rip it all apart. All we need is the core, the chip. Next, you need a buck converter. Basically, this converts your 120 volt AC down to 5 volts, 2 amps. It's important that this is 2 amp because the wireless charger works only with input 2 amps. I tried 1 amp before and that did not work. Let's take a closer look at the buck converter itself. You have your AC going in. It doesn't really matter which one's a load or neutral. And you have your going out, which is the DC. This matters, so be careful of the polarity, whether it's plus or minus. Now it's time to install into the wall. For this, I use a metal gang box, just in case. This feels much more robust than the plastic one because I'm afraid that if anything goes wrong, it will melt the plastic and then burn the house down. So hopefully the uh, metal box is more secure, more control. Feeding the uh, buck converter is the uh, two wires from the light switch. One of them is hot and one of them is uh, neutral. Connect them to the buck converter as shown before earlier. One other thing I did not like is that the uh, screw is not flush. Uh, whenever I have time, I'll design a better design so that way the screw is more flush. So with this current design, there is about a 1.5 millimeter gap of the wall and the wireless charger. This is not a big deal because um, the wireless charger itself is pretty strong. So it can easily go through two, three millimeters as well. Now that this is successful, we will proceed with tablets because we have so much old tablets in the house that we want to mount them so we can see calendar, weather, security cameras, take control of the home automation house, anything. It is pretty wild that uh, we have the technology now to create whatever we want. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hopefully this is a good and safe way to do it. If you have an, an even better idea, please let me know. Please let everyone know. Thank you.